Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome to the channel. So today what we're gonna be going over is how to install your Pelican case, your Apache case, whatever you have to your Lowrider ST for camera gear, equipment, extra storage, whatever you wanna use it for. Now the first step we gotta do, we gotta figure out what type of gear we wanna pack and then cut out the foam inserts. So let's get right to it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the gear, the Apache case. So the reason I went with Apache instead of Pelican for a couple of different reasons. Number one, I'm not gonna be using this often. I'm not gonna be using this all the time. The Apache case, I was able to get at Harbor Freight at a much less price point. So check your local Harbor Freight if you're interested in that. I think it was about a third of the price of a, of a Pelican case. I'll put the links in the description below. Now over here, I've got kind of just a, an example of some of the types of a gear I use, my DJI mic, a couple of GoPros, 360 camera, anyway, um, a camera pack that I carry. So I've got a lot of loose gear. Which is exactly why I think the way to go when I'm starting to cut out the foam in this Pelican case or Apache case, I think the best way for me to cut out this foam that's gonna work for me is instead of a lot of individual areas, I'm just gonna cut out two big rectangle pieces here so that I can drop all of my loose gear in there. Like I said, I'm not gonna be using this that often, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I think for me, I'm just going to do exactly that. Two compartments in here that I can put an assortment of gear, so let's get those things done. All right, to start with, I'm just gonna mark with some toothpicks exactly where I want those compartments. Well, there we go, here's the final product. I think it looks really good. The way this pull away foam is, it's very easy to keep those straight lines in here. So I've got one compartment just a little bigger than the other, which is exactly what I wanted, a nice divide there in the middle, padding on the bottom, padding on the top. So let's now figure out how we're gonna mount this to the motorcycle out to the garage. All right, I've just decided to continue the install here in my home office instead of out in the garage. So right here, I've got the two up bracket from Advin Black that's gonna go on the Lowrider ST as well as the Apache case. And you know, something like this is about what I'm thinking. So we gotta get this guy mounted on here. And I'm thinking a configuration sort of like this is probably the way to go. So we're gonna have to take a drill, we're gonna have to punch a hole here, punch a hole here, there, and there to uh, get this guy mounted. Well, at this point, I've got uh, an assortment of washers, nuts, bolts, that type of thing. So I'm just gonna get on here, start working on this, see what works best, um, try to get the fitment down, and then we'll take it outside to the garage, try it on the bike from there. Here she comes. All right, so I'm out here in the garage with the Lowrider ST. Now we're gonna see what it looks like on the bike. I do have a couple of cares and concerns right from the start, but let's get it on here, see what it looks like, and then I'll address those with you guys. Well, it's the next day. I got everything set up on the Lowrider ST after, after it was dark, so I couldn't bring it out here to show you guys. My wife and I are sitting outside with the dogs. It's a beautiful day, and I wanted to show you guys the end result and uh, tell you a few things that I learned along the way. All right, let's start with this. First of all, yes, these stickers are going to go, and there's a few of them, I believe, on each side. Yes, yeah, so we've got some stickers here tag there anyway all that stuff is going to go now let's take a look inside the case 
Now, before you say, Ty, why is your case on backwards? It's not on backwards. I looked up several shots of different people that use this and they're actually attached in multiple ways. So I th thought this worked the best for me. I liked this look the best actually. All right, let's take a quick look underneath. One of the things I will recommend is that when you're mounting underneath the, whatever washers you use, of course, you're gonna need to use some Loctite to keep everything good and snug, but use some, uh, what are they called, Winnie? Like rubber? Rubber washers. Rubber washers. Use some rubber washers underneath there. Um, on, I used some on the outside and on the inside along with stainless steel washers just to keep it super tight and uh, as, as much water resistance as possible. So keep that in mind. And then something else I wanted to bring to your attention. One of the things I'm a little worried about, if there's any police officers or anybody in law enforcement watching this, let me know. But this kind of obstructs the view of the license plate a little bit. Not so much with the turn indicators and the brake lights, but I mean, if I'm just kind of a normal car right there. You can't really see that license plate all that much. So I don't know if that's, a, that's an issue or what, or if I have to do some type of plate relocation but it is a factor to consider if you do want to do this uh, particular setup on the Lowrider ST. So here's just a final quick look at this configuration. Also um, previously did a video and put an Advan Black Tour Pack up here. So I'll post some pictures of that uh, in this video as well. You guys can tell me in the comments below, what do you like the best? Do you like the Tour Pack by Advan Black or do you like the Pelican? slash apache case for the low rider st i'd be curious what your uh, what your preference is so let me know well thank you guys very much for joining me today i certainly appreciate your time hope you and i both learned something along the way if you would please like and subscribe i hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon